we've gotten many calls from viewers about whether now is a good time to invest in the real estate investment trust, particularly the healthcare REITs. I want to hold off on answering until I get a better read in the whole sector. Which brings me to Ventas, VTR, the Healthcare Real Estate Investment Trust, owns more than 1,200 properties across the U.S., the U.K., and Canada, including senior housing, medical office buildings, some hospitals, even a few, just few skilled nursing facilities. Now, Ventas last reported a little over a month ago. The company delivered substantially higher than expected revenue, along with a dollar three of funds from operations. That's the read equivalent of earnings. Analysts were only expecting a buck a one. Plus, the guidance for 2016 was pretty solid, even as some analysts were concerned it may be a bit conservative. Since then, the stock has come roaring back from $48, where it reported up to $62 as of today. Yet it still has a 4.7% bountiful yield. So let's take a closer look with Deborah Cafaro. She's the bankable chairman and CEO of Ventos. Hear more about how our company's uh, doing and where it is headed. Ms. Cafaro, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Deb. Have a seat. Great to see you, Jim. Well, it finally happened. I met you through Don Wood many years ago from Federal Real. It finally happened, I think. These ETFs and these stocks have now gotten to the point where you have to defend Ventos simply because they all trade together. So I'm going to give you the floor to explain why your business model is different and why the move from 48 to 62 is the right one and not just a short squeeze. Okay, great. I'm happy to talk about Ventos. We're a $31 billion company, diversified business model. We are the landlord and capital provider to the leading healthcare and senior housing companies across the country. We have a great portfolio. We have a great team. And we have a diversified way to grow reliable cash flows every single year, reliable dividend on a strong balance sheet. And we have proven that over 17 years and can prove it again. Okay, now, people say all of a sudden that you know, you've know you had Ventas on and you love it, love it, love it, which is true. Thank you. But, Jim, you're not aware of all the overbuilding that's been going on mm-hmm. in senior housing. Mm-hmm. I think not all senior housing is created equally. Yes. There may be an overbuilding at one level but not at another. Yes. Yeah, so we have a great senior housing portfolio at Ventas. 60% of our net operating income comes from infill, superior, coastal markets where there's very limited new development. There are pockets of new supply. And the reason there are pockets of new supply is because in 2020, everybody sees a wave of seniors coming. And so we think we have a great portfolio. We think it's very resilient. We've projected 1% to 3% same-store growth in 2016. And we think our portfolio will continue to perform and certainly be incredibly well positioned in the intermediate term when this wave wave of seniors comes at us in 2020. One of the bears who writes about you on a website says, look at that guidance. That's a substantially lower guidance than what she did in 2015. You got to ask her about that. So, Okay. Well, our guidance last year was 3 to 5 percent. We delivered 9 percent, had excellent results. Right. What we like to give investors is a very transparent money in the bank kind of guidance with no real external acquisitions. As you know, we're a consolidation play. We've rolled up many companies, many properties. We continue to look to do that. But I think on a $31 billion company with a Good dividend, a three to five percent, just repeatable growth is is pretty darn strong. Now the others are saying, well, look, you know, they've taken on substantial Medicare risk. That does not seem to be the case at all. It's in fact completely the opposite. And so one of the things that uh, people have uh, have not liked recently about some healthcare REITs is exposure to skilled nursing, which is right. undergoing some. Uh, some industry challenges. Right, there's some reimbursement issues. What Ventas did last year was an innovative, tax-efficient spin-off of substantially all of our skilled nursing portfolio, really proving our expertise and understanding of the healthcare business. And we have only 4% of our net operating income, which is 1.9 billion. So 4% of that coming from skilled nursing, and that is from the industry post-acute leader, Kindred Healthcare. So we feel great about our spot on that. We feel like we were very ahead of the curve as we try to continue to be at Ventas. All right, so let's say a new president comes in. They say, you know what, we're going to slash spending on uh, assisted living, on nursing homes. How bad is Ventas hurt? Well, one thing I do want to say is 83% of that billion nine of net operating income comes 
from private pay sources. Just wealthier so we have, people who buy and do very nice things. Exactly, uh, out of their living. pocket right. or in, in, in our case, maybe out of their children's pockets. Right. And so um, that would not change our net operating income right. or profit outlook at all. We have a small amount of government reimbursed assets with the leaders in the business. We're a landlord in the super senior secured piece of paper in those tenants' capital structures with well-covered guaranteed leases. So I would expect that we would continue to and be insulated from changes that may come. And one of the things that Ventus has always had is has one of the better balance sheets. I presume that if there's some great opportunities, you will get them and they will accrue again to your fantastic shareholder base. Well, we are an external growth right. story as well. We have a great cost of capital. We work hard to keep that, the, the integrity of that cost of capital so that we can acquire the best assets, make the most right. profits on the best assets and continue that virtuous circle of reliable growth. All right, well, I will say this about you. You've been the best performing re you have the best yield and the safest, and I think people should understand and do homework. Not all REITs or healthcare REITs are created equal. Some are better than others. Deb Kafaro, Chairman CEO of ben Ventas. Mad Money's back in for the Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.